Hey, what up? It's me again. Stealth, you're watching Heroes Workshop. I know why you're here. You want to see something cool made by me. And that's what you're going to get. But first, hit like. Thanks. All right, today I'm going to be making the helmet of everyone's favorite hero. That's right, you guessed it. Captain America. John Walker. I knew you'd like it. The helmet that he wears in Falcon and the Winter Soldier series on Disney Plus. I don't know why I'm sh plugging it so professionally. I'm not getting paid by them or anything, but yeah, it's on Disney Plus. Today's the season finale. I don't think it's the series finale, it's just the season finale. I think they're making season two. But anyways, I gotta be honest guys, I built something else this week and I got excited for the finale and I was just like, I had to cram this helmet in there, so I apologize for the crudeness of the helmet. I just wanted to get it done. The thing that I was actually making will show up next week somewhere. So watch that too when it comes out. So if you want to make your own Captain America helmet or John Walker Captain America helmet, uh, the Peppacura foam file template is free. You can get it in the video description, download the file, and build one yourself. And as always, if you're new to Peppacura, foam building and cosplay in general and you want to get started this is a great way to get into the hobby I have an in-depth video on my channel and learn all the techniques you can build a sample project and then you can apply all those techniques you learned on a sample project on any foam peppercora file you come across and it should be no problem wow did you see that? see that? pretty good it's probably my best one yet hope you guys like the build uh, it turned out really cool uh, when I was building it and trying it on and stuff. It looked kind of funny because I never suit that uh, that mask. I've tried a Captain America mask in the past. I'm just too Italian looking in the face <laughs> to wear a Captain America um, helmet. But I built it for you guys because I'm sure a lot of you are going to watch the finale and wanted to see me make something Marvel related. Haven't made anything Marvel related in so long, so uh, I think it was time. All right, everyone, enjoy the build. And I'll see you guys later. Okay, so I printed the templates on cardstock paper. It's a better option for when you're needing to make templates to trace onto foam. Because usually multi-purpose paper, like the regular printer paper, it's a bit flimsy. This cardstock paper is really stiff, so you're not going to have it like moving and you know, folding over when you're tracing it onto the foam. Another thing is, I printed the templates with the texture on, so if you follow the Peppacora tutorial, you'll know how to turn on and off the texture, but leave it on because once you trace the templates on the foam, you'll see that the template actually has the separation where the details will all go. So you can use this template later to actually make those details. So now we can take these templates Trace them onto the foam, cut them out, and build the helmet. Okay, so this is the part I was talking about earlier, why you should print with the texture on, because now I'm going to be cutting this template apart and then tracing the sections onto the foam here, so that way there's no guesswork on how to separate each part, especially with painting too, and details. And also we're going to cut this uh, wing out as well, so that way you have a template for the wing.
Okay, so now you have all your details planned out. I'm just gonna take a hobby knife, and as I always do, just score the details, but don't cut through. Simple as that. You can use a ruler if you want, like a metal ruler. I'm okay with just going along the lines. And I have your detail lines all etched in. You want to make the lines pop and stand out. So you're going to use a heat gun and apply heat to those lines that you etched. And the heat kind of opens up those lines and makes them stand out more. You can kind of see they're already starting to open up. You can go over it again and open up even more, but I think one pass is enough. Okay, so now I'm gonna heat shape all the rounded parts, especially the dome and the sides. Pretty much the whole helmet needs to be heat shaped in a certain way. So let's take the heat gun. Okay, and just go over the uh, styrofoam ball wrapped in foil. Just kind of use the ball to curve all your parts. And as always, I say the same thing. Always refer to the Peppacura designer and the Peppacura foam cosplay tutorial because that teaches you when to heat shape and what to look out for and assess what parts need curves and all that. Same with bevels and detail lines. It teaches you all that stuff. So if you're always wondering, hey, how what bevel I do and all this stuff, that tutorial teaches you how to look for those and how to cut a bevel and all that and how to heat shape. So always refer to that tutorial for all the techniques basically. But uh, yeah, that should end up looking something like this. So do that to all the parts, and then once all the parts are heat shaped, we can start assembly. Okay, so the Captain America helmet is assembled. So, like I said here, there's elastic, so when I'm putting it on, it stretches a little bit and then it goes back. You can be creative. I just did this as a quick kind of thing, because I just kind of threw this together really quick just to get it in time for the finale, I guess. 
But you can extend this a bit more and you can have it tuck under here and use magnets, you can use Velcro. But I just wanted to try something different, just use elastic. Because I don't need it to stretch too much when I'm putting it on my head. It's actually a very snug fit. So I didn't want to do too much craziness. But yeah, you can use Velcro magnets. Yeah, so now what I'm going to do is before I, I seal it, I'm just going to use my rotary tool, sanding bit as usual, and just round off all the edges and just kind of clean up inside the eye area because there's some material there that I don't like. And just other areas here like that I want to round off. Any areas that you want to round off just because they look a little too sharp, go right ahead. And then when you're done all that, you can uh, also go over the seams just to even up the seams here as well. Round those off and kind of level them off around the eye. And when that's all done, just give it a shot of heat with the heat gun. It'll heat seal it and reduce a lot of the roughness. All right, next we're going to Fill in some of the seams and a lot of the uh, imperfections. So we're going to use a good old quick seal and we're just going to apply it to all the seams using this. It's like a playing card. Once it's applied, you can use, also use some water and your finger and kind of just smooth it out after. I'll show you guys how to use it. Okay, so now that I have a bit of the area covered, I'm just going to get a little bit of water because I don't want to wash it all away. Just a tiny bit, just to smooth it out. Because if you don't smooth it out, it's just going to be rough uh, in your paint job. So I just kind of like feather it. And this should be okay. Okay, so the Captain America helmet is ready to seal. So I'm going to be using Bounce. It's like a PVA uh, liquid with a rubberizer additive, I guess. You can also use tacky glue. It's easier to find. And also Mod Podge. Classic. A lot of people use this. So I'm just going to use the Bounce. I'm going to apply one coat. And I'm going to apply it with a foam brush. And it should be good. Then once the bounce has been applied, I'm just going to let that dry and we'll be ready to prime and paint.
Bomb, bomb, bomb. There it is. The John Walker Captain America helmet from Falcon and the Winter Soldier series. Uh, I think it turned out really cool. Yeah, it's really nice. I'm so glad I finally got to make uh, a Captain America helmet out of foam. I haven't made any Marvel things in so long, so maybe I'll do a few things here and there just to get back in the groove. Got another one in the books. The Captain America John Walker helmet from Falcon and the Winter Soldier series on Disney+. Plus. Like I said, I don't know why I'm plugging it so professionally. I ain't getting a dime from this, but I'm just glad I got to build it for you guys. I hope you guys like it. If you do like it, hit the like button. If you don't like it, hit the like button. It's a fair deal, I'd say. Anyways, I'm going to cut this video short because this clown next to me is making too much noise as usual. It always comes when I'm doing my intro outros. It's like he knows. He's like, oh, I hear him talking. Anyways, that's just me being a jerk. This is Stell from Heroes Workshop, and I'll see you guys next week with another build.